If you are new to gardening, you might mistake in this little beetle here for a ladybug or a lady beetle, but it is not. It is not your friend. <laughs> this is a Mexican bean beetle, and you can determine that it is a Mexican bean beetle by counting the spots on each wing. The Mexican bean beetle has eight spots, and it's an orange beetle about the size of a ladybug. There's another orange beetle, similar to the Mexican bean beetle, but it's called a squash beetle, and it has seven spots on each wing. You will find this one on your cucumbers and your squash plants. Of course, the Mexican bean beetle will be on your bean plants. So I had a pretty bad infestation of these last year, and I basically kept it under control by uh, just hand collecting them in a pickle jar with a little bit of rubbing alcohol in it. And you can most easily find these on an overcast day on top of the plant. Um, the adults overwinter in the garden, so I do have them again this year in the garden. And I basically can find them fairly easily by walking through and just looking at the leaves. And I can usually see them through the skeletonized leaf. The damage that they cause skeletonizes the leaf where you see just the veins and like the flesh of the leaf is missing. So they're pretty easy to see when they're feeding. I usually spray with neem seed oil, but last year I did not. I wanted to attract a lot of beneficial insects to the garden, and um, and I think that it helped uh, pollinate a lot of my open pollinated cucumber plants. Now you can look underneath your leaves and find the larva of the squash beetle, along with a lot of different other kind of insects, eggs, and larva as well. This is a picture of the squash beetle larva. Um, I don't have a picture of the eggs, but the eggs are just a basically a little cluster of yellow eggs. Now this is the striped cucumber beetle, which you will also find uh, causing damage to your cucumber plants. It's often seen um, where the damage has been caused by the squash beetle. The cucumber, the striped cucumber beetle doesn't cause this kind of damage. I also hand collected that last year. I had a wonderful harvest of cucumbers and I think it's due to the fact that I allowed a lot of beneficial insects like the ladybug uh, visit the garden. Um, this is the kind of bug you want to see in your garden. The ladybug that visits my garden does not have spots on it, but you can tell that it's much different than the other beetles I just showed you because of the head. That is one way you can tell the difference. Um, this is my kefir lime tree. <laughs> caught a couple of ladybugs on there. They probably didn't appreciate that too much, but they're on YouTube. And so anyway, I had the most incredible harvest of cucumbers last year that I've ever had. And it was just really, really a wonderful, wonderful year for beans and cucumbers for me. And so this year, I if I have to spray with anything, it will not be neem seed oil. I've not had, um, I've been spraying with that for five years and I've never really been impressed with the product. So this year I am going to use Spinosad, which is OMRI certified for insect control, and I am very impressed with the results I've received from using this. So, um, for instance, in the spring, I had a very bad infestation of the black flea beetle on my Chinese Napa cabbage, and after about two applications, they were almost all gone, as you can see here. And so, literally, before I treated for the black flea beetle. If I just barely touched the cabbage plant, it would start popping because there were so many flea beetles on it. It sounded like popcorn. <laughs> so I cleared that up and I harvested three beautiful heads of Napa cabbage that I was able to prepare. And I was so happy about that because I had grown these from seed and I really wanted to um, have some fresh cabbage from the garden this year. And how I prepared that was that I sauteed it with some ginger and red pepper flakes and olive oil and garlic and shallots uh, with a little bit of cashews and then I had some chicken thighs that I had also cooked with uh, some ginger and a little bit of teriyaki. It was so delicious. I ate that all spring long. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Thank you.